Hi guys, welcome to another episode. Today let's talk. Um, I want to show you guys this tank that I set up um, in 2019. Uh, it was pretty much my first tank that I set up when I went back to, to Europe in 2019. Um, so it's called San Martino Rifer, which is the place where it's at. It's basically, uh, let's see right here. Um, it's a Red Sea tank, a Reefer 170. Uh, very, it's a nice size tank, not too big, not too small. It's got the overflow, um, the overflow box sump, uh, so we can put filtration out of top of system. So this was uh, after it cycle, and this is how it's now loaded. So this has been, this is 2022. So about three years and look at it there's no more space for corals the corals have been growing really well the GSP is also almost out of control but we have been trimming it so I've been also uh, doing uh, some maintenance on this tank servicing it takes a water change once a month you know I cut whatever excess is growing there just the water chemistry but uh, very simple tank, not a lot of fish. There's two clowns, one blue hippo, and there's also sensitive to Kobe. This rock that we used is an artificial rock by Eco Rock by Tropic Marine Center, and the same thing with the sand. The sand is uh, actually not natural sand, it's just crushed uh, oyster shell. This core that you're looking right now, this is an Aiken or the new scientific term is Micromusa, but look at this, it's huge, it's got this weird uh, appearance where it's polyps, they really extend and there's bicolor polyps, you see the variations, this is only one colony, super weird, it's the only tank that I have this going on, the light is AI, so this Politoa, it's got some weird uh, uh, morph, because look at these very long skinny tentacles around the polyp because at the coral farm uh, where it came from because all the coral that is here came from the coral farm uh, they don't look like that pretty weird sometimes the corals change depending on the tank so this is uh, a frog spawn Euphilia predivisi also came from there pretty much all the corals came from the the store the coral farm and everything is just doing so well and now it's just um, this customer just enjoying the tank and that's pretty much it no more fuss uh, no more fiddling just enjoying letting it grow feeding the fish water change uh, partial water change once a month testing the water this, this is a beautiful uh, colony of zoanthids. This is also a, a tiny frag that came that, uh, of uh, Sarcophyton. You know, this is a long polyp, uh, green, very beautiful green. Now, this is a different variety of Sarcophyton from the first one that you see. And uh, the clownfish below that Sarcophyton, they're hosting, that's a Rhodactis. Um, mushroom so they're hosting that sometimes they go to the sarcophyton also right there see all that gsp green star polyps look at that growing out of control but uh we be, I, i've been trimming it so we we take care of it there's also um duncan duncan obstreya and there's a uh, pomponzinia but some corals they do great other ones not too crazy but uh, all depends this is a aiken macromusa usually when it's open it looks like this another oh this is uh this is the 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 feeding ring the floating feeding feeding uh ring the floating ring where the food falls we're using this um uh, feeder automatic feeder because the customer sometimes has to be out of this house 
for for some time and uh, we want to keep this tank running for like a week without any uh, intervention so we have the automatic feeder there's a, a reservoir for uh, with RO water to add RO water so as the water evaporates that will add the water automatically see these uh, cabinets here we have an extra jug for for extra RO water so we can it can be a week or two weeks uh, just uh, with plenty of water so it's a pretty nice size thing for a, a house an apartment and right here this uh, the, the, the sump the filtration system um, it's a very silent tank because there's a dual uh, drain with the gate valve a filter sock protein skimmer see it's full of organic waste that helps cleaning the water time to change it's a protein skimmer not not the most advanced protein skimmer but it does the job I don't want to also if if the skimmers are too advanced and they are just too big for that volume size what happens they take too much good bacteria and then the tank never it's very hard to mature and you get a bunch of problems regarding water chemistry those are the parameters that I follow that's usually what I post uh, that's there's a range right there just try to be as stable as possible don't need to change it to change not uh, to chase numbers just be as consistent and have stability all right guys do you know what to do subscribe if you can like the video and I'm also setting up a patreon page on patreon uh, with some cool stuff I'm working on it. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.